Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Good evening. We've got some more cold weather and more snow to deal with tonight. Though the snow at the moment, we're able to handle what we have coming towards us thanks to some warmer temperatures that we did have today. And I say that very in a relative sense as it's only gotten back up to about freezing, but now we've gotten right back down into the teens. 14 degrees from Dixon City. The winds are something we're going to have to contend with as we head into the morning too because those winds are going to start howling. At the moment, they're just barely starting to pick up out of the north. It will get much higher as we head more into the rest of our weekend. Saturday uh, being a quite the breezy day actually as we go into most of the weekend I still expecting cold temperatures tonight. We're already dropping to the teens out there. 20s to our south, slightly warmer weather, not that much warmer down to eight degrees already in Binghamton, but it's the wind chills that we're concerned about early in the morning. Look at some of these values getting down 18, 20 degrees below zero in some spots as we head into the early morning Mount Pocono 23 degrees and that's continuing as you head more into the evening hours actually uh, Saturday afternoon. It is going to be a cold day and we've still got more cold temperatures to come Saturday night. So we might actually have another wind chill advisory, but this one that you're seeing right here is just for tonight and tomorrow morning, and that includes most of our northern counties. So Bradford, Susquehanna, and also including the Pocono, so Carbon County included in that as well, and Monroe. The snow showers that we're dealing with, most of them pretty light. We're starting to see less of those snowflakes, but if you'll notice, this band of snow is starting to thicken up and easing more to the west. That's the influence from the nor'easter. The further east you go, the heavier the snowfall you're going to be seeing from the system. But go ahead and expect somewhere between a coating upwards of two, three inches, slightly higher amounts, the closer to New Jersey that you get. And you'll notice that the system does stay offshore. We're not really seeing the heaviest snowfall in our area. Blizzard warnings in effect for the coastline, not for northeastern Pennsylvania. We're going to see some snow and we're also going to see that strong northerly breeze. That keeps going all day tomorrow and into the evening before we start waiting for this next system to roll in from the west. And that's going to bring us another maybe a few flurries there on Sunday. Temperatures tonight, though, cold regardless of the snow. Anyways, you're still seeing that snow falling just to, even with the less uh, the lesser moisture that we have in place. Not quite as much as we had coming through with that cold front earlier today at 20 for tomorrow. A cold, uncomfortable day, maybe upper teens. We not, might not even be able to hit 20 for an afternoon high and that wind is also picking back up out of the north 10 to 15 miles an hour gust though could be around 30. It's going to be a breezy day and quite uncomfortable with all that cold warming back up to the low 30s as we head into Monday. Maybe some sunshine to enjoy and we'll see some rain chances coming back as those temperatures warm back up into the middle of the week and that all hits a crescendo there by Thursday back in the upper 40s.